My name is Jacob Richter and I'm coming to you from Clemson University. This is my presentation for the Conference on College Composition and Communication and it's April of 2021. This presentation is titled The Social Media Underlife, Transferring Everyday Digital Literacies into Foundations for Academic Writing. Let's get started. Part 1, Enacting Multimodal Composition in Transfer. Composition instructors have, over the past two decades, ascribed value to both composing through multiple modes of visual, sonic, and experiential presentation, as well as to the transferring of knowledge from, from one realm of a student's life to another. Scholars such as Jody Shipka, Kathleen Blake Yancey, Sarah Arroyo, and Jason Palmieri have all detailed strategies that composition instructors can engage to help their students compose for audiences across varied media that include video, film, podcasts, photography, and web design. A separate, but not unrelated conversation takes up teaching for transfer and seeks ways instructors can guide students toward academic writing knowledge through critical reflection and application of skills and capacities that originate in other domains of their lives, such as their at-home or non-academic literacies. As students compose across multiple modes, including those of everyday practice such as writing and social media environments, which this presentation for the SEAS conference takes up, they develop rich literacies that can help to bridge everyday and academic discourses. This presentation connects multimodality to writing transfer by positioning everyday social media literacies, skills, and sensibilities as valuable sites of knowledge transfer for student writers in college courses. Part 2, The Social Media Underlife. Most composition students write and compose on social media on a daily basis. The Pew Internet Research Center finds that about 90% of the 18 to 29 year old demographic in the United States used at least one social media site in 2019, with platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit being immensely popular. Social media is a popular topic for both composition research and pedagogy, with scholars such as Stephanie Vai, Lillian Mina, Ryan Shepard, and Michael Ferris detailing intersections between networked technologies and academic writing in the academy. Many students enter the composition classroom with richly developed literacies developed in digital spaces, but the composition classroom sometimes only rarely asks them to transfer these rich literacies to inform their knowledge of academic writing. Theories of the digital underlife propose a link between everyday writing in social media environments and the writing process students enact in Rhetoric and Writing Studies classroom, as is prominently explored by Derek Mueller. In this presentation, I want to propose the existence of a social media underlife as an extension of the digital underlife, exploring strategies first-year composition pedagogies might use to transfer everyday skills in social media composing into foundations for academic discourse. The social media underlife in pedagogical practice challenges students to reflect on composing choices that are frequently made online, such as judgments related to audience, genre, tone, diction, design, and delivery, and to consider how those choices might be reflected, repurposed, and differentiated in the choices faced when composing in more traditionally academic genres. Many of the rhetorical sensibilities that popular networked environments nurture, including sensibilities to audience, tone, community, genre, media, diction, and even circulation, have direct relevance to the learning goals of many first-year composition courses. Part 3. Engaging the Social Media Underlife in First-Year Composition some tangible strategies that instructors might use to design situations of knowledge transfer through multimodal composition in social media spaces might include the following activities. First, we have the reflective social media identity statement activity, which asks students to name rhetorical choices they have faced as social media writers in their own lives. For instance, a student might comment on the persona or identity they have tried to convey in particular posts to Instagram or if they aren't comfortable sharing particular posts, they can comment and reflect on the sorts of identity behaviors they see reflected in the rhetorical choices of prominent social media personalities. Second, we have the social media tracing activity, which asks students to trace modes of genre, audience, tone, and diction across digital and academic discourses. This activity challenges students to create comparisons and contrasts between a particular genre of social media post, such as the sharing of a meme or a Throwback Thursday post, and compare how those genres are shaped by social custom, by interface, by timing in Kairos, and by a user's personal social media network. 
Additionally, as an exploratory activity, this project can ask students to engage in preliminary social network analysis of a particular social media account using software such as Gephi or CrowdTangle to generate insights based on circulation, relationships, or sharing. The social media underlife and its accompanying pedagogical activities informs our understanding of transfer and writing studies by linking everyday student literacies to the more formal digital and multimodal literacies that are oftentimes the norm in composition instruction. Thanks for watching. My name is Jacob Richter and you can find my contact info right here.